Hello and welcome to another Solve Tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you what to do whenever you go to start and stop a video and your screen goes black at the beginning and at the end of your video. As you see there, my screen went black at the beginning of this video. Now, when I end up ending this video, it's also going to go black again. I've been having this problem and I believe I had this problem whenever I did a certain update with NVIDIA. As you can see there, when I start and stop the video, it went black. But anyways, I've been trying to figure out how to solve this problem. At first, I was just dealing with it, but then I was like, okay, well, this is starting to get annoying. So I decided to figure out how to fix this problem. Besides, it would be kind of embarrassing to be a computer geek and not know how to fix this problem. So after tinkering around with the NVIDIA control panel, I ended up figuring out how to solve the problem. And it's simple and easy to fix. Just right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. When you open up the control panel, you might be on this screen right here, Adjust Image Setting Previews. All you have to do is go down to where it says Adjust Desktop Color Settings. Then it's going to take you to this page. And what you want to do, you want to click right here where it says Use NVIDIA Settings. After I did that, I didn't bother to change anything else. Then you want to go down here, and it might be on Auto Select Recommended. You don't want it on there. You want it on four screen videos. Then from there, you just hit apply, and that's it, and you shouldn't have that problem anymore. This worked for me. Hopefully, it will work for you. If not, there's a few other things that you can try. You can try changing out your cables. That would be the first thing that you want to try. If that doesn't work, the next thing you want to try is changing out your monitors. If that doesn't work and you happen to have a dedicated graphics card, that might be your problem too. A graphics card is plugged directly into your motherboard, so they are always located inside the computer case. So sometimes a simple fix for this is to simply reseat your graphics card. Now you may be asking yourself, what is reseating? Reseating just means you're going to take it out and put it back in. And the reason to do that is to make sure everything's been connected right and that there's no dust or dirt or anything like that that may be blocking the connections. To do that, first you need to open up your case so that you can access your card. Now most computers come in either tower size models or desktop size models. Tower cases usually have screws that secure removable panels on either side of the case, but will sometimes feature release buttons instead of screws. Desktop cases usually feature easy release buttons that allow you to open the case, but some will feature screws similar to the tower cases. Just depends on what kind of computer case you have. And oh, by the way, make sure you have everything unplugged from the computer. Make sure the power is unplugged. Uh, all the cords that you have in the back, and especially your video cords, make sure that they're unplugged as well. Before you go touching anything inside your computer, you need to be grounded somehow. I suggest getting a anti-static wrist strap. Next, you want to gently remove any cables that's connected to your graphics card. All graphics cards are secured to the case in some ways to prevent the card from becoming loose. Most of the time, this is accomplished with a retaining screw. Remove the retaining screw and set it aside. Whatever you do, don't lose the screw. You will need it again once you are finished. Next, gently pull on the expansion slot lever to unlock the card from the slot. From there, you can pour the card out. Take a minute, look at the card, make sure there's no defects or anything like that. If everything looks okay, just go ahead and stick it back down in that slot. And make sure everything snaps back in place. From there, all you have to do is reverse the process. Just plug in your cables for your graphics card, then go ahead and screw your graphics card back in with the retaining screws. From there, just put your case cover back on and plug all the cords in. Something else that you can do while you're in there reseating your graphics card is that you can go ahead and reseat your RAM as well. If that doesn't fix your issue, then the only other thing I can think of is that you might be having a problem with your graphics card or your motherboard. Anyways, that's it for this video. Give me a thumbs up. You can catch me on Facebook and Twitter. Comment and subscribe.